Hi everybody. Today we're gonna make the first ever turkey breast meal in the iCock pressure cooker. All right, brand new. iCock, iCook. Let's plug it in. We have a three pound turkey breast. We got cut special from the butcher about 15 minutes ago. Washed it off, I'm gonna pat it dry. Like that noise? I do. I'm gonna brown this slightly just to show you that we can brown in this pressure cooker. I'm gonna press fish and vegetables. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here in our nonstick 6.6 .6 quart pot. I found something else that does pretty cool. Look, it holds a spoon there on the side. That's like a rice spoon or whatever kind of spoon. Whatever you're cooking, you can use it. Got the nice ladle that came with it, measuring cup. And today we are going to use the rack. I have some nice little potatoes here, rinsed off, raw, and some raw baby carrots. And they're all going in there together for 30 minutes. Nice, huh? All right, let me get this warmed up and brown this slightly just to show you that it can be browned and to show you how easy you can make a delicious meal with this pressure cooker. All right, it's been about four minutes. Put this in here, see if we're ready. Pick it up, don't be a wimp. Here we go. Hear that sizzle? Nice. Nice. That's our browning mode. Fish and vegetables. Other brands have that function for browning as well. It's going to be good. Now I'm not browning it to make it crusty or crunchy. I'm just browning it because I want it a little bit browned and I'm going to show you that we can brown. See? I'm going to move that around for a while and I'll show you how it is in a few minutes. Looks good so far. Smells good. The browning mode is working good as you can see and smell. Sizzling, popping. Okay, just get a little color on it. Just to show you it can be done. It's gonna be a good supper, isn't it? You want some? I'm gonna put some gravy in there. Turkey gravy, imagine that. Some minced garlic, because I ran out of fresh. That's all right, this is handy. Told you everything else, potatoes and carrots. Like it yet? We can go real brown, like I'm demonstrating, but you really don't have to. You don't have to brown it at all. You could put your turkey breast or chicken breast and vegetables and liquid gravy or broth or anything. Press the button and be done. Okay, I'm going to cancel that mode. This is as browned as I want it to be. I'm gonna use the nice rack that came with it tonight. I'm gonna leave my olive oil in there. Put my rack in. Put the turkey breast on. Come over and look at it. Looks nice like that. I like the space underneath. That's actually a steamer rack, but I like using it when I put other foods in here to keep it off of the bottom. Could also flip it around and have it real close to the bottom. But now I'm just gonna throw my vegetables in here. That's a pound of carrots. I rinse them off. Well, they're already clean. Okay, I got one pound of these little potatoes here. There's a lot of them, so I'm gonna put like half of these in there. Woo, a little more than half. <laughs> That's okay. See, look at that. They get around, they get under, and that pressure is gonna permeate all these flavors into that delicious turkey breast. Let's not forget our garlic. Minced garlic, going easy, the easy way. You like garlic? You know you like garlic. Two nice teaspoons. Wow, smell that. Mmm. Whew, they should make a perfume that smells like that, shouldn't they? 12 ounces of gravy. Now again, you could use broth, or water, or wine, whatever you like at the time. I'm just gonna put this around. And since this is 12 ounces, I'm gonna fill this jar up with 
half a jar of water and we'll have two cups total of liquid in there. And this way I can get all the good stuff off the sides, see? See how easy it is to cook? Now I don't want to rinse all that off, so I'm pouring this down the side. Mmm. Boy, that looks so delicious. Let's get our magical singing lid over here. I like that. Make sure we're in pressure mode. Today I'm going to use the on-demand feature. On-demand pressure. Remember I'm going high pressure for 30 minutes. Look at that. It goes right to 30 for me. All right. That's it. And in 10 seconds or so, that will say on. Make sure your lid's locked. There you go. Now we're going to wait a few minutes for the pressure to build up which might not take as long because it's warm in there already from the browning. And then, 30 minutes, I'm going to have a good supper. Thanks to iCook. Oh, there's a link down there in the description right below the video where you can check these out on Amazon. There's also a coupon code special for you for watching this video. You save some money on it too. Great deal. And these are made in the same factory as the Instant Pot. Remember I showed you a picture before? I'll show you a picture now. See that? That's them side by side in the factory. So what do you think? Give them a try. All right, be back in a little bit when we're ready to eat. All right, we have four minutes left and it smells delicious. I forgot to show you it has this red indicator that pops up to let you know it's in pressure. And when it's completely out of pressure, that will drop down. We're going to release it manually today, but you can do it naturally, depending on your recipe and how much of it in a hurry you're in. <laughs> like me, I'm in a hurry. I seem to always be in a hurry. This has a different function that other pressure cookers do not have. Faint scent, standard, and strong fragrance. And that is if you push, for example, meat and chicken, and you want your ingredients to permeate lightly, you go to faint scent or standard. If you really want it to incorporate heavy and have good flavors all throughout, like we usually like, then you go up to strong fragrance. Normally it would just go on standard, but when you change these modes, the time will change accordingly by using the built-in computer. Three minutes, I can't wait. Two minutes, oh boy, hungry. There's also different textures you can choose and the instructions explain that. Different modes like uh, other pressure cookers don't have. I like it so far. I like the handy spoon holder there, that's neat. Mmm, and I like how this food smells right now. Back in two minutes. All right, we're gonna see what happens when the time is up. What kind of message we get? There you go. Hot, hot, hot. Mmm, smells so good. Okay, that'll beep long enough for you to hear it and I'm gonna release the pressure. Like I said, you can let it release naturally. That would take 10 or 15 minutes, depending on what you have in there. But I'm gonna release it manually. This is nice, it's a big knob. See, other ones have small skinny knobs where you could, where, which are hot, this isn't hot. All right, I'm gonna release it. Here we go. Okay. We'll be back in one minute when that pressure is out. Okay, our indicator button dropped. Get ready to look at our first meal in the iCock pressure cooker. This has a good book that explains all those features I told you about. Gives you a good amount of information about times and the programming settings. I like it. All right, we're gonna open the lid. Look at this nice handle, cold, it's not hot. The middle parts are hot, of course. Not real hot, not really burning me, but it's hot. There we go. First ever turkey breast in my kitchen and I caught the pressure cooker. Whoa, now it's hot, that steam is hot. All right, that's normal, that's normal. Open it away from you. Ooh, look at my supper. Mmm. 
potato on a plate. Look at the garlic there. Mm. Let's see. Give me a fork. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look. All right, let me get it on a plate. Let me turn it off. Unplug it. All right, let me see if I can get this out of here without falling apart. Yes. Yes, I did. Mmm. Let's remove that handy rack. Boy, look at all the nice turkey gravy. Mmm. Remember I like the ladle? I wanted a ladle for so long. There's a ladle. Look at that. Look at that. Smells like Thanksgiving. <laughs> Alright, let me get these vegetables out here. I need a big spoon for this. Because I'm in too much of a hurry. So don't worry. I ain't wasting that gravy, don't worry. Isn't it nice? Look at all that. That'll feed a lot of people. I was gonna do a whole chicken in here, but I decided on turkey breast. Don't know why. Because I haven't had it in a while. Or I don't think I ever cooked it in, in a pressure cooker. Look at all this. There's more in there. Man, I'm gonna have to put it down. It's getting heavy. All right. I'll meet you over at the table. There we go. Boy, doesn't this look delicious. Look at the gravy that I made. With a little help from a jar of gravy. Let's taste this. I was going to use this sharp knife. Do you think I need it? I don't think so. No, look. But you can be neat and slice it off nicely. Or make yourself a nice sandwich. Ooh. You want to cook with this, don't you? All right, I'm not gonna make a pig of myself. Am I? Potatoes and carrots. Get back here. Mmm. My plate's too big. I gotta put more food on it. You want some? Let me get some. See that? More meat. Boy, this is good. It smells so delicious. The turkey and gravy and the garlic and taters. All right, here we go. This is history now. First ever turkey breast in my kitchen in the I cook, I cook, I cook and you cook digital electric pressure cooker. Mm. Oh, that just melts in my mouth. Mm. So good. Anyone can be a good cook. Go get some ingredients you like, put them in there, press the button. That's all you gotta know. First you gotta get one. Click the link in the description. There's also a coupon code down there. Mmm, wow. Remember potatoes? Look, raw potatoes. You can put big, full-size potatoes too. See? Gravy. Mmm. Little pieces of garlic in the gravy. Mm. Woo! It was worth waiting for, wasn't it? <laughs> the pressure cooker and the meal. All right. Thanks again to iTalk. I'm going to put a link to their website in my description, too. This is a new company and they have a lot of new, modern, innovative products. A lot of kitchen stuff. They got a camera like a GoPro. A little camera like that looks nice. Toasters, coffee makers. Anyway, I'll put a link there. Check their site out. And thanks for watching. And please subscribe. Click to that button. Thank you very much. Tell your friends and neighbors. Make them a nice meal. Have a nice night. Thank you.